Well hi all, I thought I'd do a quick video of my feeding regime and what these birds have, what my birds have through the breeding season and uh, right through until they've molted out and I uh, start to add in some chlorophyll. So many years ago I stopped using soak seed uh, because it used to go off during the day when I was at work um, you're always cleaning and washing it and I went over to Pearl Morbide and I've been using this now for a number of years, four or five years and the birds absolutely love it. So I put, because I haven't got that many birds, I do five, five scoops of the spoon like that into a bowl and then I cover it well over with water. Sometimes I leave it overnight, uh, at least an hour or more. Uh, and all the, the beads swell up and you get this lovely uh, swollen up mess which you can add in your soft food and my soft food I've been using Crico the classic and the special now for many years and my birds get used to this because I say it's what I use during uh, the breeding season and through the winter they get some as well so that they're used to this and there is a lot of other makes out there equally as good i just as i i like this so i i just take i take seven seven scoops to the amount of pearl morbide and water five or six or seven it doesn't really matter sometimes i have to put more in because the pearl morbide's got you know, there's been more water added in. I don't do it to the exact science. So that's plenty. So I, end, I put that like that. And then I add, I use AV form uh, goods on all, and most of mine are just something I've got used to using. And it's, I like it. This is a calcium. And I use, I just sprinkle one spoon of calcium and then in this one is the, the vitiform which is uh it's got all sorts of added minerals and trace elements and goodness in and i use one spoonful of that i usually put a a bit of niger seed over the top and also I've got some poppy seeds. I just put a few of them in because they're very, very fatty, but it gives the, the birds something interesting to find and it gets them used to eating seeds. And then I, I get some broccoli. I, broccoli. I give it a good shave, give it a haircut, and you end up with that. And then I sprinkle that over the top. Give it a good stir about so i don't want it too wet but i don't need it to quite you know i don't need it very dry as well if it if it is a bit dry i've got a, a spray bottle with some water and i can just add add a little bit of uh water to it that's not too bad so i mean for me for the amount of birds i've got that will last me all day at least, probably even some into the next day. And then to get one scoop like that into a dish. Uh, and then they'll get that about that amount per per bird. And where all the young are, they'll probably get four of those. So I do that, but and also I've got the carafil and I can add in here we've got some small spoons. And a small scoop of the, of the carafel and spread it all over the top mix it up uh, hey presto you've got your feed to colour the birds up I also I also have this year started to use the, the loose loose B M15 which is a, a soft food as well and this is moist pre-mixed and so the the young birds really really like it the older birds have never had it before don't seem to bother that much but 
to say it smells really nice, a bit like caramel. And then I'll take I'll take one of these spoons and only do about that much and I put it into a bowl. And because it's moist, I could add I can add carafil to that as well and it will mix in quite well. And I put that at the bottom of the cage, especially where the young are, and it's left and I change it uh, every day. I'll just get one that amount once a day and they can readily go and uh, pick that up as if the other feed starts to run out or they want something different it's nice nice and light they can just go and pick that up as I say I've got a lot of goodness in there as well and then you get the AV form AV gold advanced in in the water twice a week you also get fresh water in between that I've also got some of the, the this is calcium liquid calcium I could sometimes add into the water and then once a month I use the S76 which kills off all red mite it's a natural product so it doesn't hurt you can give it to them all the way through the breeding season and I, and I do that as well uh, and again I put it in once a month for two days and then take it out and that, that seems to since I've been using that the last few years it's it has kept down mite problems which I used to have a lot of red mite now I get relatively none uh, plus the change you know the changing of the cages help as well there's less places for them to to hide so yeah that's what my birds get through the breeding season and right through to the malt I shall add I've also uh, the adult birds they get seed as well a pot of seed the youngsters I have put one one pot of seed in there just so they get used to seeing it they might go in and have a look and have a dip but as I say I should be adding my carafel red into the soft food and not into the water I have used it in the water in the past and it works fine but your cages end up in the right mess oh we've got some young now in here here they come can we get up there's four in there so they hatched two or three days ago and then the other one here who was on four eggs i said three of them were clear and one looked four well one has hatched so she's got one young under her so yeah that's it so colour food will be started with these say pretty soon now because the tails and the wing feathers are nearly all fully grown so I shall start to add a bit of uh, carafel red into their soft food starting maybe even at the end of this week I think it's you know I can give them a bit they'll pick it up when with their when they're having the food so it's a gradual thing as we go into the malt. That's it for now. I hope everyone enjoyed that. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.